Good evening. Hey, it's Friday Night Live back on the air after a mere 14 week hiatus for football Friday night, but one football game remains. I know, Jared, this afternoon I was at the shoe to see if Bishop Hartley, the only Central Ohio team to make the state finals, could bring home a second straight state title. The Hawks ran out onto the field at Ohio Stadium with the goal of winning back-to-back -back state titles in a Division IV final rematch against Steubenville. In the second quarter, game tied 7-7. Quarterback Jake Ruby finds Jaden Manley, a 32-yard touchdown pass, and Hartley leads 14-7. NBC4's Matt Barnes loves it. Still in the second, Marquette Dixon breaks free, and he takes it all the way to the end zone on a 44-yard touchdown run to put Hartley up 21-7. Steubenville would score just before the half, but the game would remain scoreless in the second half until the fourth quarter. The Big Reds' Charles Reeves takes it into the end zone, game tied 21-21. Then with a minute 32 left in the game, Steubenville misses the field goal attempt and Hartley's Cody Kirkbride returns it all the way to the Hawks' 32-yard line and that would set up Hartley's Mateo Agresti with two seconds left in the game, hits a 31-yard field goal to win it and the Hawks are back-to-back -back state champions, their fourth state title in school history. They've been very, they, they've been, uh, a great group, obviously. Made their legacy in Central Ohio, and uh, um, they're never going to be forgotten. And what a game. First of all, I'd like to thank my teammates and coaches for giving me the opportunity to kick. Uh, when I went out there to kick, I was very focused and relaxed. Uh, the key to kicking is being relaxed and focused so you can concentrate on what you're doing. Cody Kirkbride, when he ran it all the way back, what was going through your heads on the sideline at that point? I was thinking I'm going to have to go out there and kick it, and I was mentally preparing myself. This is the greatest moment of my life. Congratulations, Hawks. Other state titles decided today. The Division I championship tonight goes to two overtimes before St. X knocks off St. Ignatius 27-20. St. X becomes the first team with five losses to win a state title. Maria Stein-Marion, local, won the Division VI title over Cuyahoga Heights. It's the ninth state championship for Marion Local.